Hello everyone, I'm Aussie JTV and this is Castle Morihisa. Today we're going to be playing as the ninja, the final class that we haven't yet tried on this game. And I was just looking at a bit of the talent stuff and the sort of general use of how this character plays before we started the game. One thing to note though is when I talked about how you unlock characters in the last episode, it's basically changed, there was a patch, so it's only the ninja now that you have to unlock, and that's just by beating the game with any one of the other classes. So the samurai now starts unlocked by default. So if we jump straight into this, basically the ninja is all about comboing the same types of cards. So there's this new effect down here called Genjutsu, which I believe is like illusionary techniques. So basically if we play three cards of the same type in a row, we will gain what's called a mantra sign. Gain nine of these mantra signs and then you gain a Genjutsu. Now I don't know what Genjutsu is specifically, but I assume they are really powerful cards. And as you can see here, some of our base cards include things like attacks that are called kunais. So if we use three kunais in a row, that will count as one of these mantra signs. And there's also other types such as, I think we'll see it in the shop here, um, Wakazashi, for example, which just for reference is a sort of small Japanese sword normally paired with the katana, which you might have heard of. And that seems to be basically the general gist of the character. They also seem to have a discard mechanic. So basically cards that have two actions. So this, this for example, will inflict the enemy with exposed, which is a new sort of tool tip, which basically means we recover, recover one action point when taking card damage. I'm not entirely sure what this means. Um, I think it's that we expose ourselves. I'm not 100% sure. We'll, we'll work it out. But basically, instead of playing the card, if you target a discard on this, it will do the discard mechanic. So you'll gain two action points if you manage to discard this. So anyway, that's basically how I think the character works. Let's go straight into it and see what we can do. So we've got Takeda Shingen, Imagawa Yoshimoto, and Shibata Katsui. Um, I'm thinking deal 10 damage to a random enemy or do. I think the fact that you only get to use these three times. I'm going to take uh, gain 10 strength for this turn because basically if we're going to play combo cards, we might do three attacks in a row and we'll want to be able to get the maximum benefit of that strength. One thing I definitely think they could do better in this game is, you know, there must be a way to refresh these sorts of things because they feel like an afterthought. You often forget to use these fallen warriors. And here is our ninja, the final character we have not yet played. And interestingly, this arachnid is not going to attack us this turn. So why don't we try for, I was going to say four kunai, but three kunai. And as you can see, we've now got one of these mantra signs. I'm not sure if they stack across fights. I would assume they do because nine is quite a hard thing to get to. So let's try this out now. If we do three guard, is that now a second one? Yes. And we can actually see that it's building up the pieces. So it's got three blue in it because we used three blue cards. So I, we're probably just going to do the same thing again here. We're going to go guard, guard, and then puppeteer. And we'll choose a card to discard. Doesn't really matter which one and end our turn. So we're building up that Genjutsu character pretty easily. I mean, realistically, we're just going to kill now and see if this can this will stay at three out of nine for the next fight. And I'm almost certain it will. And what do we have here? We have Kawarimi Jutsu, Genin Force and Binding Seal. I think people that have uh, watched Naruto in the past will recognize some of these. I mean, at least the term Jutsu and Genin I've seen before. So what do we have? Discard all the cards in your hand and gain five armor for every one card discarded. That sounds very good if we're going for sort of discard synergy. Gain eight armor or discard to gain an action point or gain three armor, inflict all enemies with one disarm. So I'm thinking one of these two, to be honest. I think we do have one targeted discard already and gaining an action point could be pretty good. Um, so I think I'm going to go for Genin Force for now because we don't we don't want to necessarily say our deck is 100% going to be discard. It just now has one potential synergy. I think that should be good. I've also had a look at some of the talents. I probably should have bought one actually before we start. I wonder if we can't do it in combat, but I've had a look previously. So we're not wasting tons of time trying to work out what the best move is, you know, like I normally did at the start of the Samurai episode. So let's see, we might be able to get to nine on here this time, but I'm not 100% sure. I think we're probably just going to take the damage and do three kunai. It's an interesting risk for risk reward mechanic, this, because you almost don't mind taking a little bit of extra damage in order to build up your uh, mantra stacks. So one thing that I think is a bit weird is you've got mantra in two different parts of the game, if I remember correctly. I'm, I'm sure we were talking about mantra previously. So I'm actually going to guard because I'm not in a rush. And also, I, actually, I was going to say, I can't actually attack. I need to spend more time looking at the debuffs there. So the web spinner has prevented us from attacking. But at the moment, I'm actually quite happy to try and build up to see if we can get one of these Genjutsu cards. I'm assuming it's a permanent thing. Um, in, oh, I just thought we can't actually get this because we will kill the enemy to do it. So let's just let's just play puppeteer, and 
discard Pokemon. I really want to see what this Genjutsu does. So even though this is probably not the, the most efficient way to play here, um, we are going to do it. Now, I'm just thinking, there's no point gaining an action point here, so we might as well just heal up. And oh, ah, and that's another useful thing to know. So we basically store across turns. So you don't have to do three in one turn. It's just three in a row, which I mean is, is what it does say, but I didn't realize. So if we press this now, what do we get? Okay, so add a card to your hand. Genji, stun all enemies, so that's pretty strong. Gain three action points, similarly quite strong. And for each one card you play this turn, draw one card. So I guess we could just play Cycle Charm, and then we go in and in. So the only annoying thing about that is it isn't a permanent buff, right? This is gonna be a one-time use. You always wanna save this for an elite fight, maybe, or the boss fight at the end. So what do we have here? Target is exposed, well, we don't deal exposure at the moment. Maybe we'll just go for another puppeteer and try and think about building this sort of discard-based deck. I'm also going to buy a talent point because we didn't do that before. And I think what I was thinking is this one seems quite good. First turn, everyone has weaken. Um, I'm going to take that. It also seems very interesting that some one of the ones that I was looking at, maybe, maybe trying to rush for. Oh, you know what? This is actually very interesting. So when I was looking at this earlier, it was just on a on a test run, and then I restarted the run. So it looks like the talents do aren't always the same in every time you play the character. So previously, there was something that I looked and I was very interested in, in called cloak of darkness which would give you ethereal so basically you'll only take one damage per hit on your first turn but as far as i'm aware i can't see it here it was definitely on this sort of circle so i guess there's just maybe there's a pool of talents and you're not guaranteed to always see the same ones which is interesting it adds a bit more variety to the game to the game which is cool but i did not realize that so we won't be going for that and this time we've got fortune cap okay so this is basically trying to get us to buy more shop items and i'm i'm debating this wakazashi maybe seems like it could be quite interesting though maybe that's better for when we have more action points um is there anything else that really draws the line so draw three cards draw three cards less than your next turn or deal ah so this is a discard deal one to 20 damage to a random enemy now i'm going to double check my talents because there was something called uh, i'm just double checking lucky strike now i can't remember where this was well i mean i guess it would have moved anyway but there was something called lucky strike here and basically what it means is is whenever there was a chance of dealing damage, you'd always deal the max. So that would go really well. It would pair really well with this, um, this ability. But fortunately, it doesn't look like we have the option for it this time. I'm sure it wasn't this far up, but it's interesting to see how that, that, that moves and that can change how you want to build your deck. At this point, I'm thinking of picking Mind's Eye because we've got two discards and gaining action points could be very useful. Um, so I'm going to take that. Why not? Um, and that's probably going to be it. I'm, I'm debating... Debating going Sanguine Dance into... I'm actually going to remove a guard because we've got quite a lot of defense cards at the moment and then progress. Do we go for an Elite? Do we go for a Relic? We're going to go for an Elite. It might be that I was prioritizing Elites too highly at the start of the game last time because, you know, our deck's pretty weak still. It hasn't really gained all the benefits that we're hoping for. Um, but this time, I think we're going to go Puppeteer into Mind's Eye, discard that, gain two more extra action points, and that basically lets us play our whole hand plus gain a Mantra stack. So that seems pretty good to me, and we take absolutely no damage. So maybe we can start building around this idea. Now, unfortunately, we're going to take 15 damage here. I don't really see a way to avoid it. Um, I mean, we can avoid six of the damage, or we can try and deal a ton of damage by effectively using this Takeda Shingen. But I guess we're just going to go... I think we're going to do it. Why not? We might be taking quite a lot of damage this turn, but at least we are dealing a lot to the enemy and trying to get them low enough. Um, because I'm worried that the longer this fight goes on, the more danger is, dangerous it's going to be for us. So we're not getting hit this turn, but we might as well gain some armor and gain an action point. And then we'll go kunai, kunai, kunai. And that's now three out of nine. Interestingly, I was uh, doing a little bit of research about this horrible monster that I saw in the last uh, episode. I think I've seen it in previous ones before. The the one-legged umbrella is what I will call it, because I can't really think of a better a better term terminology for that and actually just before we start talking about that i'm just going to try this mind's eye what has this done to it? it's exposed recover one action point when taking card damage cannot gain weaken on next turn clear exposed and weaken so i'm assuming if we actually did damage to him then we would gain action points back which sounds quite strong actually but anyway as i was saying the the umbrella creature however scary it looked it's actually what is known as a casa obake in sort of Japanese culture. I think mean, there's a bit of controversy about what that really means, or, or, or what, what it really comes from, maybe. But it's supposedly one of these things called Tsukumogamis, if I'm saying that right, which is basically the idea that it um, can... Basically, as, a, as, an, as a item becomes 100 years old, 
they almost thought to become either alive, self-aware, or, you know, in, in, not infested, but uh, possessed by a ghost. So basically, that is an umbrella that has been possessed, basically. That is what the Casa Obake is. And it's normally seen with one foot. You can sometimes find them with two feet, interestingly enough. So let's have a look. What can we do here? Back to the game. Deal 30 damage to enemies in a single battle. Seems like a nice obvious one. Um, or play 50. Maybe we'll go play 15 cards in a single battle. Because a little bit of health wouldn't go amiss at the moment. And let's see what we can get here. Gain three armor. Show the top two cards of your library. And choose one. Discard the other. So that goes in with our sort of discard synergy. I'm thinking we will do this. Or we've got on this turn. Gain one strength for each card you play. So I think that would be a really fun deck. I don't think that's what we're going for here. But a sort of... Um, Combo deck in the sense of making loads of things cost zero and just trying to rattle off attack after attack after attack. Because obviously, as we saw with the Genjutsus earlier, there would be that option. I'm thinking what we can do here. For each one card you discard, gain two strength. That seems like it could be pretty good. Recover three health after each successful victory is always quite good. Um, discard any number of cards and draw an equal number. That could be good at the start of turn. So there's quite a few different options um, that we could do. I think we might go for Luxury. Basically, I want, I want to lean into this idea of we are going to discard a load of items. That's oh, discard a load of cards. That can be the synergy for this run unless we see something super good that makes us pivot at some point. Um, and I'm just looking at what we've got here. Well, we're probably going to go mind game. Unfortunately, we didn't get any sort of discard synergy there. We might as well do one block and no, one block again. So that gives us our genjutsu. I'm actually going to save it. I don't know how much we should be saving these, but I'm thinking we must be coming up to either an elite or a boss fairly soon. So let's try this Mind's Eye out this time. So Mind's Eye, so we've exposed the enemy. Now, if we used our throw kunai, we gain an action point. And if we throw kunai again, we gain an action point. So this is what I'm talking about, where we could potentially get these really cool combo moves together. And that really makes me want to do that with the next time I play the ninja, because I think that could be really fun to do. But for now, I guess we're just going to go poison, Mind's Eye, throw kunai, gain armor not a particularly exciting run but we're not really trying to build up mantra at the moment because we've already got it to full we're just looking to basically beat this enemy and i just realized we're not actually going to do it this turn so might as well play all our defense cards it'll be good to just double check that we don't go over nine i didn't think we would but that's where we are and can we get a kill this turn i think it's dependent on what we get with the mind's eye fortunately nothing particularly striking so we'll just do one attack and well two attacks and guard and we'll definitely kill this uh snake this turn and there we go easy peasy that's what we want to see um and we've already got the little bit of bonus healing so i'm glad that we picked that up just to sort of help us with the rest of the game maybe we'll take madness it seems a bit of a risky play maybe we i don't think it's worth it to be honest the disarm is not terrible and if we go against the general maybe we're gonna wish we had it but for now i'm gonna skip i think i think that's fine and i might actually use this heal because we've got a genjutsu ready let's go for an elite fight and just try and get as many bonuses as we can early in this round. And our favourite little, I don't know, little bean is what I call him. Um, <laughs> our little floating jack-o'-lantern is the enemy that we will be fighting this turn. So let's, maybe let's just Genjutsu straight away. Let's see what we got. Something new, maybe. Deal 25 damage to all enemies. That's a lot of damage. Recover one charge. Oh, so just talking about, is there any ways to recharge these? We have got something here that lets us do it. And cards with void that you play this turn will instead be placed into your graveyard. So I mean, none of these are particularly ex exciting. And I just realized these are, because I thought they'd be removed at the end of combat, but it sounds like they won't be. They'll be removed when you use them. So we could just keep it in our deck to store it and purposely not play the card now. I think that's what I'm actually going to do. Look at this. We're gaining action points. Oh, sorry. I think I got that wrong. I wanted to click the other one so it would discard the Genin Force and we'd have got the action points. But that's not the end of the world. We're still going to discard it with this anyway and defense and the question is do we do an attack i'm gonna do an attack it does make us miss out on our mantra but we've already got one in the deck and we'll, we can we could work I'm, I'm more worried about killing this enemy than anything else so let's mind's eye throw kunai throw kunai guard puppeteer it's a shame that we couldn't um get any mantra there but that was quite a good fight nonetheless this is easy kunai 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 get a mantra strike and we will proceed from there so everyone's been having a good day today and been enjoying the Castle Morahisa. I'd be interested to know if any of you have picked up the game or playing the game or whether you just enjoy watching me play without actually playing yourself. Um, it would all be very interesting to know. Let's just get all of our defences up this turn. I definitely think it's a good game. It is making me want to almost go back to uh, Slay the Spire because that was a classic game. But, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to happen. I just realised I should have checked that my library was empty before playing that card. It's not really too much help for us and we're going to take 
three damage at the end of this. Well, slightly more than that because of the severe burn in our hand. So now we can do mind game. I guess we want to definitely discard the severe burn. We can puppeteer the Genin Force. We can puppeteer the severe burn. And then we can hit the enemy. I'm a bit worried this is going quite slow because obviously he's putting these severe burns in our deck for every turn that we're wasting time. Um, but we're not going to break through this turn, that's for sure. Um, which is unfortunate. We can't go down this early. Maybe we will. Maybe this will be a shorter video. And then we'll have to decide, because I am debating whether we switch up the slots and bring... Um, oh, I've already forgotten the name of the game that I played yesterday. Was it Infernax? I don't know. That that really got to me. So I'm thinking about trying to play that in the channel, but I was trying to work out how we were going to fit it in, the, in with the rest of the stuff that we're doing. Now, can we... So we almost certainly get very close to dying if we don't kill this turn. We might as well, uh, we have to play this. And then I guess we're gonna do two blocks and then hope to kill next turn. I mean, who knows? Maybe I, I will play a bit more of this off camera and then decide if I've, got, if I've got better, maybe it will return to the channel. But I feel like I'm not really giving you the content that you'd really wanna see um, as we play this game. So for now, it looks like we are alive on one health. I thought we were dead there. So we, we, we do live to fight another day. It's a good job we used that healing last time. And let's see what we've got here. Refresh the shop. Deal 100 damage to enemies. I mean, we need something that we can do quick, quickly. Use two fallen hero skills in a single turn. Well, I guess we can't actually... I don't know if we can use the same one twice on the same turn. But that might have to wait until the second round. So none of these are going to happen particularly quickly. I guess I'll get the talent points. And, oh, here we go. So we've got more Wakazashis. But we also have another Kunai as well. So if we're getting Wakazashi, it's not really going to be that useful for us unless we can get some sort of cycling involved. So we could do Expose into Sanguine Dance to do a lot of damage, maybe. I mean, I guess that's an option. Maybe we'll try it. I mean, you know, I don't think we're lasting long in this world anyway. We've got to go to the, to the camp and rest up. Who knows? Maybe we'll at least... Let's get a Relic. Maybe we should have gone for the question mark, actually. I think this is the problem in this game. I never feel like I need to go to the question marks because I'd either want to heal... I'd either want to fight, but maybe if I went into them, I'd, I'd actually notice there's better ways to heal by using them and things like that. Um, let me know if you've been going to a lot of question marks and you're like, Oscar, why why aren't you looking there? Why aren't you looking there? There's so many good things that we're missing out. We tried quite a few at the start and um, when we first played the game. So let's see. This seems like a great chance to use this Sanguine Dance. So what we can do is we can... I'm just trying to think if we do this in a, a better way. So let's mind game. We get to take one of these cards, discard the other two, and then we can go Mind's Eye, Throw Knife, Throw Knife. That's already going to get a kill. Throw Knife, and then kill the first. The Airborne. The Airborne. You can't be making these mistakes, Ozzy J. They're flying. They're flying. You can actually see them flying. Of course they take reduced damage. Um, but oh well. We, we live and we learn. Let's uh, puppeteer, get in force, gain an action point, and then play the rest of our hand, and we will finally kill that bat. Really, there was no reason to take that excess amount of damage yes, last turn. I think we're going to do the same thing again. Might as well get in force. Maybe I could have done that better to get a mantra, but it is not the end of the world, and we'll just focus on killing this bat here. Yes. Oh, no. So it wasn't that they were flying. This is the one that the max damage you can do is five with any one attack. So I still think we probably could have got the kill there if we'd have done it the right way, right, right way around, but that makes a bit more sense. I guess we'll pick up Wakazashi this time. Oh, we have to make sure we do this in the right order because, yeah, we can Mind's Eye, throw Kunai, throw Kunai, and then, yeah, we have to play Sanguine Dance first because we've discarded it otherwise accidentally, which we don't want to do, and that is perfect. I don't know, I'm feeling a bit, bit better. Maybe we can still win this. I'm, you know, I'm not saying definitely, but I'm saying potentially. Um... And uh, don't worry there, don't take any damage anyway. But I thought I had one extra action point for some reason. And can we finish it here? Well, we almost certainly we can. We can just draw a kunai, actually. And there you go. So we're at least going to make it to the last boss, or first boss of, 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 this, um, of this stage. Let's see, we've got gain 12 armor, gain 30 armor, or gain the same mind game again. I mean, we could mind game a second time. I just feel like we don't have quite enough discards. Or oh, well, things that benefit from being discarded. We've got a plenty of talent points, so we should really buy something here. Um, I'm just looking at anything that's based around discards. Uh, this this one's quite interesting. At the start of turn, gain a reflect. So when attack, take no damage and instead reflect an equal amount of damage back at the attacker. So that seems like something good to get because basically it gives us a breathing room, breathing room on our first turn. And to be honest, there's nothing else here that's going really crazy. The other option is when you have 25 health or less, gain 5 agility just so that we can live a bit longer. Oh, it's a hard choice. I feel like the better option is to go in for this first blood. I just realized, oh, we've got 10 points, so we can buy it. 
I, and this lets us get closer to Jonin sensors. So whenever when discarding cards, reduce a random ha hand card's action point cost by one. So I just feel like some of these tooltips are a bit wordy, a bit hard to read, or maybe that's just me being a bit slow. Um, and I'm wondering if a boss for counts as an elite. I'm not sure it does. Otherwise, I would go for David. But I think we're going to go for Dazzled. Um, and just basically build ourselves into Jonin sensors as fast as possible if we have that option. Now, is there anything else you want to buy here? We might just go into a refresh. Yes, I think a refresh will be fine. Your Wakasashi cards deal double damage on this turn, interestingly. I might take this because it's also got a discard mechanic. Um, is there anything else we might want before I do that? Gain 8 armor, deal 1 to 6 damage to a random enemy. This is a really weak... Two, two, two um, action point costs for, for 8 armor. It doesn't seem particularly exciting. I'm going to have to be honest. But maybe we just take all three of these. I'm liking Puppeteer. Maybe we'll just... I can't afford all three, never mind. But we'll, we've will we got two more cards, so hopefully our deck's a bit stronger. It's getting quite thick early, I feel, but maybe that's just me. And here we go. Here is the Casa Obake that I was talking about earlier. I probably could have waited and talked about it more here. Um, but I don't know. I don't really have any more fun facts about this this character. I The only things I can think of is, you know, the fact that the Casa Obake, actually, in terms of translations, Casa is Japanese for umbrella, hence the umbrella-looking creature here. And Obake, from what I can see, is like... Ghost is, is one translation, but I don't think it's a very accurate translation. It's more like uh, a spirit of some sort or something like that. So anyway, let's mind game into a kunai? I think a kunai. Might as well be a kunai. We can then mind's eye, throw knife, throw knife, and then puppeteer. We take one damage, but that's, that's neither here nor there. If anything, that puts us to 25. So if we get enough talent points, we'll get the buff from the thing that I was showing you earlier. And then we can mind game again even though we've got an empty uh, hand. Gain three armor just to get one more of these. I'm trying to build up to nine out of nine for the time we get to the boss fight. Um, throw kunai, and then we will do a Wakazashi hit for six, which is not too bad. I don't know, I feel a bit more comfortable now. 25 health. It's not masses, but it's not terrible either. And we might be able to just get the... It's only six damage here, actually. We're not going to quite get the kill, but we will get our Genjutsu. And the question is, we're either going to take 12 damage. That's not insignificant. Or we can do this. In fact, I'm going to just do it straight away. Let's not think about it. Let's... I'm an idiot. He, he's ethereal. Ah, oh, what a silly move. What a waste. That might be the difference between us winning and losing on the boss fight. I don't, how did he get in? I need to pay a bit more attention. I think I'm rushing slightly and it's uh, leading to those silly plays like that um, where we're getting ourselves losses for no reason. Are we going to be able to... I think I'll just draw a load of cards. Okay, we, we draw this one. We will discard the other one. which will give us enough to get the kill. So at least that's one thing I did well in this, in this run so far. Um, and let's see. Do we want anything here? Thinking about madness, but I think I'm going to skip for now and probably buy this iron or steel that we had before. I can't believe I made that mistake. I just used like a 25 damage card on all enemies just to do one damage on an ethereal one. But oh well, live and learn. That's the whole point of this game. And I think this hand's going to basically play itself, to be honest. The only thing we have to be conscious of is we don't want to discard our sanguine dance. Well, actually, yeah, we don't want to discard our sanguine dance because it will do slightly more than the other one. Uh, and then the kunai, I should say. And there we go. Let's at least see if we can do this. Maybe without taking any damage. That would really fill me with confidence. So let's puppeteer into Genin Force. Almost certainly going to mind game. We'll take the kunai. And I mean, I could have... I guess I could have discarded this as well. Because I've already got eight. I'm actually going to play the card just so that we have um, one of our mantras picked up. And we'll use Sinister Desire. It's not going to do anything because we only have the one Wakazashi card. I'm sort of regretting that purchase already, to be absolutely honest with you. Um, this is probably going to play itself. We're going to play a ton of defense cards. I mean, and discard cards if we can. Let's get rid of that. Deal some damage. And perfect. We At least we're bringing this back up. Maybe we'll have another Genjutsu card by the time we get to the last boss, which would be nice. Or the boss for this, um, this area. I wonder if there's an easy way... I guess we can do this to deal one, six damage. I was going to hope... I mean, we're not going to get a kill this turn, so I'd rather gain the armor. We, we have to try and t minimize any damage we take at the moment because we're just so weak. Um, and what can we do here? Throw Kunai is only going to deal three, but we can play quite a few cards, hopefully. So let's see. Let's discard this. Um, and Well, we can discard both of these, get a ton of action points. And hopefully... I was going to say, that didn't do much damage at all, but I was hoping that it would have. Oh, well. Can't have everything. Guess gain an armor... Puppeteer away our other guard. Ooh, our other guard, I should say. This is already going to deal five damage, so might as well throw a knife there and kill the first toad. I mean, this fight's actually going pretty well. Um, it was only the one last last time that just made me feel very sad. Very sad indeed. Um, let's add this. I'm going to play... 
I'm going to play a Mucus and then discard discard the, the Kunai. Just to give us one more action point. And then there's no point really guarding again unless I'm trying to build up the Genjutsu. Let's just do three damage. And here we go. Right. What else can we draw? Well, I guess I want to discard this. I want to be able to discard Iron or Steel. So might as well do it that way. Get rid of a Mucus from our deck. And it's all going pretty swimmingly now. It feels like it's going swimmingly. I don't know. It's maybe just the elites that are absolutely throwing me for a loop at this point. Um, can we get a kill here? I don't think we can. Is there any point in even gaining extra action points? I don't think there's really any point either. So let's just... Hmm, I guess I'll, Well, I guess I'll do it anyway. I don't think there's any harm either way. And play all of our other cards. We take no damage and we should kill this Toad this turn with four damage. I was like, for a second I thought I was going to be weakened and I was like, I don't need to deal three, but we are fine. Equal trade. A turn start, discard and draw. Well, I guess we're going to take that. It costs two, so it's going to be quite hard to get off. But if we do, that's that's quite a nice passive benefit for us. This is where it'd be nice to have that reflect stack, which we do at the start. So maybe we can use that to get it off on our first turn. Um, so in this instance, just to make sure I understand how this works, we should only be taking three damage this turn, but it should only be the Demon Sword hitting us. So all I'm going to do is guard... In fact, I'm going to go all in on the on the demon spawn anyway, because as soon as we reduce the number of enemies we're fighting, the better, in my opinion. Uh, definitely seems to be suitable. This is a bit of a rubbish hand, I'm going to have to be honest. But at least we can draw a kunai and use that to get a hit in here. I'm just thinking if we want to do anything else first. We might as well puppeteer our mind's eye away, guard, and then attack. That gets rid of one... But it gives us it gives us a genjutsu charge or a mantra charge, and it also gets rid of one of the enemies that we are fighting against. Um, this is a bit sad. I don't know. We're going to take quite a bit of damage here if we're not careful. We might just want to gain the armor. I think we do, actually. Gain armor and then puppeteer our Sinister Defense away. So maybe we'll deal a ton of damage. I mean, that would have been so good if we just suddenly dealt, like, the full damage. I think it's 15 out of nowhere. Um, but unfortunately not. This turn, we can't play any of our defense cards. So we're going to take some damage here. But at least we can kill one of them. Could be worse. I mean, 6 health is not what I'd ideally be sitting at. I wonder if I'm just going to play this... Because we might as well build to the next... Oh, recover 20 health. Never mind. I was going to say let's keep it in the deck for the, when we fight the boss. But if I can gain 20 health, I'm not going to be complaining at all. Um, and then we might as well deal 1 to 6 or we just deal a straight out of 4. I mean, it's got to be... A f well, actually, we can do both. What am I talking about? Do it like that. Perfect. It seems like all of our random chances are hitting at like minus... Dealing 2 damage at the moment. So I don't know if that's just me that's seeing that. Um, but it's not ideal. This is This is not the greatest hand I've ever seen. Well, let's try the Sinister Desire. We haven't used it properly yet. We can uh, Mind's Eye, we can Wakazashi, and then we can deal 12 damage. Doesn't quite kill, which is very unfortunate. So we take a bit of damage, but it gets to one health and dies at the start of our turn. Right, we must be up to the boss now. I feel like we've been traveling for quite some time. Um, just seeing if there's anything that we really want here. Don't think there is. I mean, maybe this, Inflicting Vulnerable, because we could discard it and inflict one random enemy with two weaken. And it's a zero cost card, so it triggers with Wakazashi. I'm going to take it. Why not? Um, we still got more. We still got more. Okay, let's just think about this. Maybe we need to go for one of the cheaper talent point unlocks for now. Um, whenever anyone tries to draw one card. No. Recover 20. I'm going to take this. Recover 20 points when starting a boss battle. It's not going to help us. We're going to avoid the elite for now. This feels like it's been a very slow run. Maybe I'm just thinking more, which is probably a good sign. But some of the misplays I've made imply that maybe that's not true. And this is like quite a strong fight, to be honest, for what is not the final boss of the area. But let's see what we can get. We definitely want to dis discard Genin Force. I'll take up the throw Kunai. We can mind game again. This time we can take the Kunai again and discard deal damage. Then we can puppeteer our mind's eye away to gain more action points. We've got plenty of healing. And then we just go throw Kunai, throw Kunai, and a massive 10 damage on the Sangri. We could even kill there if we had um, used the double Wakazashi and somehow found an extra card here or there. I'm tempted, you know, I'm tempted to play this equal trade. I feel like we're running out of chances to ever do it. So I don't mind taking the three damage here just to guarantee that we get a passive benefit for this fight. We just need to make sure we kill the Bowman this turn. Like, yeah, I was going to say, I assume he's going to do tons of damage to us. Um, let's see, let's get away our pursuit. Do we deal quite a bit of damage? And we're going to want to play both of these, but we might as well try and get one of these... Um, What's they called? Mantras up first. So just play our whole hand, but do it in such a way that we kill the archer first. Take no damage. This is going pretty well, you know? I'm not too unhappy with this. I'm thinking we probably just discard iron or steel. How much damage are they doing? Only four. Yeah, let's discard iron or steel. Um, we actually might as well do an attack first just to get the mantra. Then we can 
mind game into... Well, I guess we're going to draw the puppeteer because we can puppeteer the mind's eye away, gain enough. Well, actually, we didn't really need to gain those action points, but no harm done. And yeah, let's finish this off game. Oh, actually, which is going to be better? We haven't got the sinister. We don't have the Wakazashi card in hand. We might as well do that. It might do enough to kill. And yes, it did. That was a big hit, actually. Very happy with that. Um, let's get rid of our Genin Force. That's mind game. I'm actually going to take the guard just because I think we might as well try and build up this Mantra Strike. And just to clarify, the way this reads, it's going to do absolutely nothing to this enemy because they're not exposed. It's just a waste of a card. I mean, I guess it's useful in the sense that is a card so like it would buff up our wakazashi card that combos off of how many different cards you've already played this turn but it's nothing like particularly exciting let's actually let's just get rid of iron still for some reason i was thinking to myself let's get rid of guard so that we can puppeteer the iron still but it's basically the same thing and what do we want here maybe kunai yeah because we'll discard all the others and actually that gives us the kill perfect oh it's a nice little bit of extra damage there and what do we have here? Oh, Shuriken. So we haven't seen Shuriken yet. Deal four damage to all enemies and inflict one weaken. So that could be quite good against this boss if it if it does spawn three enemies. Or we can try and get a second Wakazashi. I think we go second Wakazashi. Worst comes to worth, they're zero cost cards, so we can always play them. Um, and I'll get a relic here. And then, oh, Keat grants a 50% chance to get one card reward when you open a chest. When do we actually open chests? I know this is a silly question. Does it mean, like, what, what is considered a chest? I guess a chest is when you pick up an artifact. And we'll rest here, and this time we'll upgrade. I realized I probably didn't need to rest that last time because we've got that bonus that gives 20 health at the start of a boss battle. So what is going to be really good? Hmm. Let's have a look. For each one card played this turn... Oh, so this just makes it a save. That's not particularly good. In, well, for, for, in my view, we don't need that. Making this one is probably going to be our best bet. I do like upgrading the mind games or the puppeteer, but nothing else is particularly appealing for you. We do need some stronger... I'm going to take equal trade. I, do, I just do like tactics. I like passes. And let's fight the boss. I wonder if this will be one we haven't seen before. Or whether... Oh, it's the, the flesh worm that we fought the very first time we played this game. And we're at 53 health, which is a very respectable amount of health to have, I think. So let's have a look. We're not... Well, actually, I say that. What we what we really wanted to do here... I sort of want to not take any damage, is what I'm thinking. So we could puppeteer the Genin Force iron or steel and then throw knife that was almost certainly the best move i don't know why it took me so long to puzzle that one out um and i'm just wondering why does this say one when you discard up to three cards in battle okay so it's just keeping a mental track of that i probably should be paying more attention to when we have that happen and when we don't this time it's probably gonna be a very simple mind's eye throw kunai this we might as well use our other cards or at least one other card and then sanguine dance so going quite down relatively quickly, but this is where it gets difficult is when he spawns his little babbies, his little alien-inspired uh, creatures. And I just want, to be honest, I really just want to use all three kunais because three armor is just not anything particularly, doesn't excite me. So maybe we're just going to go do a 12 damage to him or we could try and kill one of these eggs first. That's the real question. Is it going to be a big problem? I'm going to go in for him. I think that's probably the best move. I just think last time we spent so much time trying to kill the babies and they regain all their health if they hatch before we kill them. But it just doesn't seem to be worth the effort. So that's equal trade this time. Um, we're probably going to mind games into another mind games. I sort of should have realized we were going to do that. Uh, puppeteer to get rid of Sinister Desire. Hopefully deal a ton of damage. Nope, but you can't have everything. And deal six damage to the Flesh Worm. So this is where it's going to start getting difficult. These are going to spawn. We're going to start taking more damage. We might need to do some sort of... Uh, killing of, of easy characters just to make it easy, better for us. Guess I'm going to discard one of these puppeteers. We'll mine game out and probably discard iron or steel. So we want to either pick up Sanguine Dance or mine game. I'm going to take Sanguine Dance. This could be a, an attacking turn. He's, he's only doing eight damage, so I'm not particularly concerned. And then guard, throw kunai, Sanguine Dance, Sanguine Dance. It's a good, decent amount of health. He's nearly on half. I mean, he's probably a bit ambitious. And what can we do here? I guess we just gonna get rid of mine's eye that seems like the best bet for me interestingly we drew Genin force 12 damage i mean we could play it we've got so many action points actually i'm just gonna play it eight that, that gives us eight this will give us enough we guess we'll get rid of the other guard gives us no i had that wrong i thought that was gonna give us one of our genjutsus but I'm, I, one of the things i'm hoping is that genjutsu that does 25 damage to everyone if we get that that's gonna make it a lot easier for us to get the kill in this oh, question do we want I mean, I guess we just want to get rid of this one. This seems the very obvious discard. Does a little bit of damage to everyone. Um, might as well throw a kunai. That gets us to 8 out of 9. We are going to take quite a bit of damage this turn. In fact, maybe maybe I'm changing my mind. Maybe I feel like we need to soften these, these enemies up a little bit. Let's, let's, let's do a little bit of softening. 
do that. We might as well play our Pursuit. It's not going to do anything, but might as well play it. And deal 8 damage here. I'm basically trying to get them ready so that when I Genjutsu at 9, hope to draw the, the AoE card and go from there. I'm just getting rid of the Mucus. doesn't seem particularly good for us. We shall play both our Kunais first. I'm just trying to think. It's 25 damage it deals. So let's... Let's at least get those two within range. That's Genjutsu. Do we get it? Deal 25 damage to all enemies. Perfect. So we're going to Fire Breath Charm here. So that kills both of those. Gets those relatively low. And I guess we're going to Mind Game. Mind Game into Sanguine Dance. It's probably the best we could have hoped for. We're not going to kill one of these. So we are going to take some damage to stun. But let's hit the Flesh Worm. And I'm hoping we'll kill the Flesh Worm at least before he spawns his next set of evil enemies that he likes to spawn. And let's get rid of Sinister Desire. Discard Mind's Eye, gain some more action points, play the Gen in Force, play the Mucus, and then play Puppeteer. So I don't think we're actually taking any damage here, or if we are a little bit. Nope, we are not, which is good. Um, deal 1 to 6 damage, might as well do that. Who knows, we might get a kill if we're very lucky. Uh, we'll keep the Kunai, that's killed one of the enemies. In fact, I was about to, about to rush in there, but we might as well play a Guard. Well, we might as well play a Puppeteer, get rid of our Mucus, because that will give one more Genjutsu. And then hit, and then hit. We just, we just have, the, we do have some big turns of dealing a lot of damage, and then we have a lot of little, little bits, which is not quite what we want. I'm thinking we're probably just going to discard this to gain an action point. Well, actually, they're doing quite a bit of damage to us. Let's discard Mind's Eye. Um, we'll play Mucus. We will. Uh, do we, can we play our whole hand? Well, I guess we can't because of Puppeteer discarding. Let's just play that. We can. I'm just thinking, we'll Kunai, and then we Sanguine Dance to save us a bit of damage, I guess. It's a shame that he's going to heal up the Flash Worm. I don't know if it's a he. I guess if it's spawning a load of eggs, it probably isn't a he. Uh, probably a she. Uh, I think about it. Um, and then Mind's Eye. None of these are particularly exciting. Let's go Puppeteer, because we can discard to give an enemy weaken, um, like so. And then hit hit sanguine dance okay this is we're doing some damage we're doing some damage we're finally getting there this flesh worm stands no chance and these are some horrible looking creatures when it says flesh worm as well i always think of like you know the worms in real life that can crawl under your skin and uh you know you won't be happy you know they, they can they can crawl out your ass or, or whatever happens and i forgot they split into lesser versions so we've still got all of this to deal with as well might as well mind game i was gonna say we might be able to discard something that gives us bonus buffs and i guess start Killing these, the sooner the better. Let's just focus on one, focus them down, and go from there. Hopefully that gives us another Mantra Strike at the start of this turn. Hmm. I mean, regular regular Guard just seems a bit a bit weak, but I'll get rid of the Mucus. Or Mind Game into the discard, I'm thinking. Yeah, into the discard. Gain armor. Puppeteer some extra armor. And then just deal a ton of damage to that one. I'm hoping we should at least be able to kill kill this one this turn i'd hope to deal some damage to another one i mean whenever i see this i'm like we're never using this for its actual benefit we're just going to discard and hope to get a kill which we did that's very nice um that's eight damage that they're doing to us so we can defend eight damage we might as well guard mucus throw kunai this is just now a bit of a slog this is what fine with this boss it would be nice i think it'd be nice just to have it where you automatically kill all the enemies by killing the boss but i guess that defeats the purpose of the game or how easy it's meant to be. I wonder what happened if you get three disrupts here. I feel like that's got to be quite unusual. Um, and what are we going to do here? They're doing a lot of damage, actually. I was going to get rid of that to get an extra point. Probably going to get rid of Pursuit um, just to reduce the damage we're going to take and then get in force into guard. That's a bit of a weak turn, isn't it? Um, be so sad now. I'm just thinking, are we going to die? No, we're not quite going to die, but this is looking very, very dangerous. Um, hmm. Probably just going to get rid of that this time mind game into something good i was gonna say that's that will do once again i guess we're gonna pick up the mucus we want to try and get rid of some of these and throw kunai and might as well puppeteer a puppeteer and let's see will we survive this is a bit nail biting i'm not sure if we are going to getting rid of the sinister's eyes always a good start now we're down to three enemies so hopefully this should become easier and easier 12 damage they're currently doing so we're gonna have to play both of these if we want to live which is not ideal but i guess that makes our turn easy enough puppeteer get rid of the kunai and then sanguine dance the lowest health one four damage a turn though not going to be good enough let's be honest get rid of this we need as many action points as we can i think if we're gonna live here take everything that gives us armor um 
Yeah, we're gonna have to do this as well. How much is that? I didn't even look. I just was like manically pressing. Okay, so we're gonna go down to two health. We're still hanging in there though. We're still hanging in. Will we make it or will the ninja go down in the first round? Four damage we're taking. Well, this will deal. This will prevent eight. We can do four, eight. I've got to get rid of a mucus and then hope. Well, actually, this is five armor anyway, so we can. Well, I was going to say we can draw a mucus. I mean, we can, but we're only going to be able to play one anyway. This is the thing. Can we race against our deck getting filled with more and more mucus, which is pretty disgusting when you think about it? Um, or are we going to slowly feel away? Let's weaken. Let's hope it weakens one of the enemies that's attacking us. Yeah, I didn't really. I think they were already weakened, so unfortunately, so that didn't actually do as much as I was hoping for. And we're going to gain eight damage. That's not enough. I think we're going down. Uh, what can we do? Is there anything we can do here? We could have gained strength. I was sort of being completely forgetting about this. We could have gained strength earlier to have killed them. But oh well, this is going to be a loss. We haven't had much luck in the last couple of rounds. So we'll see if this... Let me know if you think Captain uh, Captain Castle Morahis should stay on the channel. Otherwise, we might switch out a bit to the game that we what if yesterday. I'm going to have a quick look on my other monitor just to show. Infernax it was. I was right. So like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, just let me know. Otherwise, you know, maybe we'll mix it up. Maybe we'll do one day Infernax, one day Castle Morahisa. We'll see what people want to see, basically. That's up to me. But anyway, AussieJTV signing off.